Hey guys, welcome to another New World video. So in today's video, I wanted to have a closer look at luck. More specifically, how it affects our chances at trophy mats from chests. I have, over my time making New World videos, done a lot of trophy mat loot run videos. And my favorite, as anyone who watches my videos knows, is Evan Scale. The reason I love this one so much is because I enjoy the aesthetic. And when you spend hours running these runs, you almost have to, because man, it gets boring. Let's just be real about it. Running chests for trophy mats and regents is about as fun as a brute canal. The second reason I like it over others is because it seems to me to be the most efficient run, giving you 37 chests to open in a well laid out run, allowing you to hit them all very close to the reset timer. So I always feel like I'm getting much more for my time spent here. Well, whenever I post one of these videos, I always get the same questions. Do you use luck? How much luck do you use? And stuff like that. To be completely honest, I never really focus much on luck. I would just do the runs in my gear I was wearing at the time, sometimes my mining gear, other times my harvesting gear, and usually, my regular gear I wear in dungeons. But after I got asked this about a thousand times, I thought, well, let's test this out. So I put together everything I could to test this out. Now I'm not going to try different zones and all that, because to be honest, the loot in these chests is dictated primarily by the level of the zone, not the zone they are in, except for one exception. The exception is when we stop talking about trophy materials and we start talking about certain schematics and furniture items. This starts to get complicated, but I will try to explain it the best I can. When you open a chest in New World, you will be randomly accessing multiple loot buckets. Each of these potential loot buckets contain items ranging from weapons, furniture, schematics, trophy materials, potions, and decor. Each of these loot buckets have a set group of items contained in them. So if you open a chest and the chest roll decides that you will get something from a certain loot bucket, then once the loot bucket is decided, the game rolls and decides which item within the bucket selected you will get. Normally this is all game side stuff that will give you a headache if you think about it, so don't even really bother, except in one case. If your goal while running chess is the schematic for the golden steel storage chest, then you will want to do chess in any level 50 plus zone. Any level 50 plus zone that is, except Ebon Scale. This schematic is in kind of a unique loot bucket, and if you are running chests in Ebon Scale, there will be 11 additional items in that bucket that will make it incredibly more difficult to get. These items do not exist in chests outside of Ebon Scale, however, so you will have an incredibly better chance elsewhere. Now I am not saying it is impossible in Ebon Scale, you might get extremely lucky, but if it is your only goal, then you are better farming somewhere else like Eden Grove, Shattered Mountain, or Reek Water. Sorry, that took a turn, let's get back to the video. So for my luck set I put together, the set contained 3 times major loot luck trophies of course, which give 1.5% luck each. My jewelry gave 2.8% luck each, times 3, plus the pearls within them, giving an additional plus 0.5% luck per piece. My void bent set, upgraded to 620, gave 2.9% luck per piece, plus the additional 0.5% luck per piece from the pearls I placed in them. My bags gave 2.8% luck each, times 3 because I had this luck on each bag. Now for my weapons, we're giving me 2.6% luck each, plus pearls giving 0.5% luck each within them. Now I know, there is an argument over weapons and if the luck on them even applies to chess. I tend to think not, but I put them on because what does it hurt really. And I even grabbed some turkey meals which give 5% luck each also. This was a total of 51% luck. I tried to find luck wherever possible to push it as high as I could reasonably. So, after I had everything ready I set out. Now I didn't know how many runs I would need to do in order to call this a true test, or just anecdotal evidence. I think the true amount you would need to run would be crazy, like 10,000 runs or something, and I'm really sorry guys, I wasn't signing up for that. But at the same time, I didn't want to simply do one run and show results because flukes happen. Getting skunked happens, so that too wouldn't prove reasonable results. So in the end I decided on 1,000 chests, 1,000 with luck and 1,000 without luck. And of course I did not do this all at once, that's crazy. 4 runs per day for 7 days for with luck and 4 runs per day for 7 days without luck. And then I chose 2 storage sheds and put everything notable in them so stuff wouldn't get mixed up. So in the end it worked out like this, there are 37 chests per run in my Evan Scale route. It's the same one that's still posted that I still use. So 37 chests times 4 runs was 148 chests per day. For 7 days came out to 1036 chests. So after 2 weeks of this I can 100% say the first thing that I discovered is that I won't be doing chests for a long time. After a few days of doing this I got very 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 bored. I won't lie, but it's all for science right? So let's have a look at my results. This is the first stuff I got using luck. 
One interesting thing I noticed by the third day or so while using luck is I got very few actual schematics, which makes me wonder if the luck pushes me into loot buckets that has a higher chance of excluding schematics. Who knows for sure, just an interesting thing I noticed. So as you can see I got a lot of trophy mats. And for our no luck runs, where I just wore whatever, my regular gear that I was wearing at the time. When I did these runs I got a ton of schematics and house decor, which seems to work to reassure my original observation about the loot buckets being affected by luck, but again this is far too few runs to say definitively. So you can see luck clearly improves your potential chances at trophy materials, although it doesn't make them flow in like a landslide. Doing so many chests and having so much luck, this was still all I have to show for it. So farming for those very rare ones like the armoring tools will be a long haul. I would almost recommend simply farming something else. Something that sells really fast and is easy to farm. You could easily churn out 30k gold in a day farming charcoal and the time spent farming these chests, if a certain trophy is your only goal. Now, I won't say it isn't worth it, because there are many other side effects of running so many chests for this experiment. For example, look at my region storage supply now. I was basically dry when I started this. And now look at it. I won't need regions for a long while. If I was still leveling my trade skills, this would almost cover it all for them. In only two weeks hard farming, and I was only hitting the small chests nearby my path, I wasn't going out of my way to find them. So to answer all of your questions without a doubt, yes, wear luck as much as you can, unless you are after the golden chest schematic. It is not affected by luck, and you will want to farm it outside of Evanscale once again. But for everything trophy mat related, yes, luck does appear to be the king here. I realize I may have overdone that for this video, and yeah, it was a ton of effort, but I simply didn't want to run a few chests and tell you guys something that turned out to be a fluke and had you invest in a bunch of luck gear that you wouldn't have needed. I wanted to be sure first. So I do hope this helps some of you out there to find those mats that you're after. And as always guys, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.